Trump is a fascist and wannabe dictator. Now, what's being suggested here is that I somehow am propping him up and thus furthering a fascist dictatorial agenda. It's hard for me to take statements like this seriously. It really is. And I say this as someone, I, I, I maybe have never really clarified my political position, and maybe I'll alienate some of you in doing so. I am not so much a for Trump as I am against the left. I am against the left. There's, there's almost anybody on the, the somewhat conservative side of the spectrum that I would prefer that I would prefer to this Biden administration or, you know, somebody, somebody on, uh, on the Democrat left. I mean, we know that it's really Obama, you know, who's, who is the puppet master here. I would take almost anybody uh, on the somewhat conservative side, whether that's Trump or DeSantis. And, and by the way, I like DeSantis. I'd be thrilled if Trump were to win. But I would be equally thrilled if DeSantis were elected. And let's just say this, DeSantis is much more conservative than is Trump. Trump, I think, is a, um, and I've said this in, in, in articles, I think that Trump, Trump is a businessman and he understands that the way for business to work, to work successfully, you have to keep your bargains. Um, we know, I mean, just from recent interviews, that Donald Trump is in particularly, you know, pro-life. He, he just isn't, but he is unquestionably the most pro-life president in modern history. I mean, the fact that Roe v. Wade was overturned was because of Donald Trump. Now, how can that be when you have a guy who really isn't that pro-life? It's because he basically made a bargain with evangelicals. If you vote for me, if you elect me, if you support me, I will be your man. And he kept the bargain. He did, and he governed as a more conservative president since the most conservative president since Reagan. And in some ways, I would say more conservative than Reagan, certainly when it came to Supreme Court justice appointees and, uh, and Roe v. Wade. But when you say that he's a fascist, do you even know what fascism is? I would suggest that you don't. We have, you know, the, this, this also tells me, you know, Trump is a fascist and a wannabe dictator. It tells me that you are of a weak mind so that you're easily manipulated by media because this is the media narrative. They are doing everything that they're accusing Trump of doing. They're fascists and they want to be dictators. 100%. But no, it's Trump. Trump's the one that we, uh, we should be wary of. Trump wasn't the guy who was for open borders. Trump isn't the guy who was for the sexualization of children. Trump isn't the guy who was pushing for digital IDs and for kill switches in your automobiles and to end uh, you know, your use of a gas stove and to put everything on an electric grid so they can flip a switch on your whole life. Trump isn't the guy who is um, deeply involved with the World Economic Forum and seeking to end U.S. sovereignty. Trump isn't the guy who got us involved in a war in Ukraine. Trump isn't the guy who's given billions, billions, hundreds of billions of dollars to Ukraine where it undoubtedly is being laundered and sent back into the pockets of Democrats. Trump is not that guy. So when you make statements like this, it just tells me that, that you really aren't thinking, you're just feeling. You're just feeling what the media wants you to feel, and they want you to feel like you're under the threat of some kind of dictatorial regime. If Trump wins, I mean, it'll be the end of American democracy. This is the kind of crap that Rob Reiner tweets. The guy is not intelligent, I know that it was I know that it was a fictitious, you know, show, but Carol O'Connor's Archie Bunker character did get Rob Reiner right in calling him meathead. He is a meathead. He just isn't that bright, at least not when it comes to politics.